Why, hello, hello, beautiful people. Welcome back. All right, I'm really happy today just because we got a bit of sun, which is awesome. I love sun. It's my best friend. Um, and in a few days, I'm moving back to my home country, which means really great internet. That means more videos. So, because right now it takes me three, four hours to upload one video. It's crazy. The internet here is so bad that I want to, I just want to curl up in bed and cry. Okay, so what are we doing today? We're going to learn about string concatenations. Fancy word for something that's pretty, pretty simple. So don't worry. Um, I'm going to show you how we used to do things and then I'm going to show you how I recommend you to do it now and why we do it now. Also, I got some messages back on my previous video with the functions and when we should use arrow functions or when we should use normal functions. I'm going to cover it a bit later on so you know exactly when to use what. And I'm going to cover arrow functions a bit more in depth. So don't worry. Don't worry. We're getting there. Um, okay, so what we learned so far is if we add the plus symbols, it's going to add it together. So when it comes to numbers, so if we have const, I'm just going to create a variable called um, my age and my age is 24. And let's say const your age is 21. And what we can do is if we console log and we just add my age plus your age, well, that's just going to add them together. Age, age, your age. What's your age? Well, look, we're going to have 45. So it just adds everything together. Now, what happens if we use it with strings? So I'm going to delete these two and I'm going to just going to do it with strings. So I'm going to add hello. My name is plus add. Well, that is string concatenation. It just takes both of the strings and adds them together and makes it one long string. So if we take a look, we're going to have hello. My name is Ed, like so, but these are a bit too close together and I'm pretty sure they're not in a relationship. So why are these so close together? Well, one problem that we have is we need to add a space in here because this ends with is like so there's no space in here and it just adds it with this together. So as you can see, there's no space here at the start either. So what we can do is just add a space here or here and then it's going to add the space and everything is going to look okay. So yeah, so that's one issue we had with this and and with the plus because you have to keep in mind the spaces. Another issue that we have with strings in general is what if we want to do, I'm going to add single quotes here. And this is a question that I know a lot of people wonder like, hey, when should I use double quotes or single quotes? It doesn't really matter. It's the same thing. JavaScript is going to read it as a string anyway, but there are a few, few annoyances here and there. Again, we're going to do the modern way and it's going to solve every issue that you have. So don't worry. So one issue with this is if we say, hello, it's me, Ed. And as you can see, we have an issue here because we use the single quote here. Well, to write this correctly, right? It's is with a single quote above, but this breaks. All right. And it breaks because our quotation starts here and it, JavaScript is like, oh, OK, so we have a string and it ends here because we're closing it here. So this doesn't make any sense anymore because we just have one quote here, which doesn't close. This is an issue. How do we solve this? Well, one way to solve this, which I don't like, <laughs> but I'm going to show you is to add a backslash like so. So what this does is basically JavaScript is going to be like, oh, OK, so you don't actually mean to close the string there. You just mean to say it's and it's a form of just writing your text. So this, if you put it before your single quote, it's it's called escaping it and everything is going to work fine. And if, if I if I save this. My, my code, the prettier that we installed is automatically going to put double quotes, but trust me, this is going to work. Now, another way to solve this is, well, we can have double quotes here. So then you will not have any, any issues with the single quote. All right. So if we save this, then we won't have any issues. So this is another thing that I really don't like. And I, I really don't want you to worry about using either single quotes or double quotes. So my rule of thumb is, hey, when you create a variable, you want to create a string, 
just use single quote, okay? So cons name equals Ed or Edwin. That's my that's my name. All right, even though Prettier now autocorrects it and puts double, um, yeah, you shouldn't really worry about this. Just make sure if you use single or double, at least stay consistent with it. So if I use another one here, just don't use single quotes here. Just either keep it both with single or, or both with double, all right? So in this case, all right, I'm gonna use double. But when we wanna concatenate things, so when we wanna put together things, then we're gonna use something else. So let's say I wanna console log, and I wanna say, hello, it's me, Edwin, all right? So rather than using single quotes or double quotes, we're gonna use something called backticks, which is next to your one. So above your tab, hit that key and you're gonna have these backticks. Make sure to use this because otherwise it's not gonna work. So what we can do now is just write normal string here. And what we can do is say my name is, or hello, it's me. As you can see, we don't have any issues with this. It's me and my name is, now do we use plus here again or outside here? No, we don't need to do that anymore we can just add a, and this kind of looks weird, I know, but once you get used to it, you're only gonna use this, I promise. So you're gonna use a dollar sign and curly braces. And here you can put in any variable you want, name, or you can use 20, 40. So you can just write normal JavaScript here. It's not, uh, it's not gonna be a string. So we can use name and when we hit save, everything is just gonna work super nicely. We have the single quote there, we have the spaces. We don't have to worry about this being closed and adding single spaces like this. And the great thing is, is it's gonna make our lives easier when we wanna concatenate a lot of things. So uh, by that, I mean, let's say you wanna have, so we have a name and we have an age like so, 24, we're gonna say age, and we're gonna console log, so normally you would do something like this, hello, it's me, and then you would leave a space, you would add a plus, name, hello, it's me, Edwin, all right, it's gonna get the name variable, you would have to add the plus again, double quotes, and we're gonna say, space, because we need to leave a space here, we're gonna say, and my age is another space here, plus outside age variable, we're gonna add the, hello, my name, uh, and my age is 24, so we're gonna add the space and 24, plus, and I am getting old, like so. All right, so this is how everything looks if, if you wanna concatenate multiple things. And I don't know about you, but yeah, this works fine, but I don't really like the way this looks. So how can we change this with the new way we learn things and make this a bit more concise? So rather than doing this, we can remove everything here, like so. We can add the backticks and we can say, hello, it's, me, dollar sign brackets, name, and my age is age, like so. Look at this, this looks a hundred times cleaner than adding a bunch of double quotes, pluses, space, double quotes, and this is gonna work just fine, like so. So, this is it, this is string concatenation. And by the way, if you add a number here in this, this is gonna be converted into a string, all right? So even if you add the age, so if you're concatenating a string with the number, so this is the last example I wanna show you. So I wanna combine these two together. So I'm gonna say, I'm gonna just create a new variable. Call it combined and we're gonna say name 
I'm gonna say name plus age, all right? So I'm gonna combine the string with the number. What's gonna happen now? Well, let's console log combined. Hit save and we are gonna get Edwin24. Now, what is this? Well, when we concatenate a string and a number, again, since they are not both numbers, it cannot add them together like 20 plus 20, 40. And since they're not strings, both of them strings, um, and JavaScript is gonna be like, okay, so we have a string and a number. I'm just gonna take the number here and I'm gonna make it a string. So this whole thing, so the combined is actually gonna be a string. All right, so this result is all a string because it cannot add them together. So it's just gonna make them a string. And a cool way you can check that if you're unsure, uh, what you can do here is when you console log, you can write type of like so. Actually, we don't need to wrap it. We can just write type of combined and that's gonna return us string. How cool is that? So maybe I wanna know what what is this data type. So type of age, that's gonna give us number. All right, so that's a cool way you can also visualize on what type of data you have in your variables. So that's it, that's string concatenation. Definitely, uh, if you don't use them so much or you just learned it, try to get used to them because it's gonna make your life way, way easier. Thank you so much for watching, drop a subscribe, and I'll see you in the next part. Bye-bye.